description was understandable. Mujahideen is simply an old Arabic word which can be loosely translated as freedom fighters or holy warriors. Australians usually associate the term with the traditional Afghani hills tribes that fought the Soviets. The Iranian Mujahideen, however, are very different. Although they are predominantly Muslims, they are neither fundamentalists nor monarchists, and their politics are at the liberal end of the spectrum. <laughs> The Iranian Mujahideen are pro-democracy in a Western sense and are opposed to Iran's government being controlled by religious hardliners. Uh, what Mujahideen is fighting for is abolishing all these institutions which was established by uh, Khomeini's government, like uh, cutting a thief's hand or trying people in court for one minute or a compulsory veiling. They are very progressive. None of the protesters is a member of the Mujahideen, and the organization has no official presence in Australia. But like a number of Iranian immigrants here, they actively support its aims. With a society in Iran, a free society in which the people live in peace, they have freedom of speech, they have freedom of press. What Mujahideen is are fighting for a democratic government in Iran. The Mujahideen started life in 1965 as an underground political party opposed to the Shah of Iran's regime. In the late 1970s, they were one of the main supporters of the Iranian revolution led by Ayatollah Khomeini, who promised political freedom and democracy. But after the revolution, Khomeini consolidated his power base with the mullahs, or Islamic clergy. Instead of the government being separate from religion, the clergy took control of the government, with the Ayatollah as its ideological leader. They formed Hezbollah, or the party of God. Just look at its past, like, you know, hostages and hostage taking and export of terrorism throughout the world. What is happening in Iran is not Islam. We should call it Khomeinism, not fundamentalism. Within a year of the revolution, the Mujahideen had become the largest opposition party in Iran and Khomeini's greatest enemy. The People's Mujahideen organization have been outlawed in Iran since 1981 and simply being a member of that group is, is, has been punishable by death. We've also seen groups like the Kurds who are struggling for an independent homeland being victims themselves simply for that struggle. In response, the exiled opposition groups, including the Mujahideen, have banded together to form a National Council of Resistance based in Paris. Mr. Masoud Rajavi is the leader of National Council of Resistance of Iran and he's a symbol of struggle for freedom because he's fighting more than 29 years for freedom and Mrs. Rajavi she's a president and they are Iranian hope for freedom and democracy this is the Iranian resistance movement's army in exile from dozens of bases in eastern Iraq these Mujahideen soldiers are training to overthrow the fundamentalist regime of President Rafsanjani 2.30 in the morning I had a call from one of my friends that Khomeini's jet fighters attacked refugee camps and Mujahideen bases in Iraq. According to an official Iranian news release, over 1,500 members of the resistance movement had been killed, including its leaders, Masoud and Maryam Rajavi. So I was really depressed. I mean, in previous attacks, I had lost three of my friends. So that was a big, you know, 